Hi everyone, a pleasant afternoon to each of you, especially to those viewers who are currently watching this from home. I'm Cyril Oliveros together with my co-partner Lovelia Balaba where we will be the, the one to discuss another new topic called Boolean Algebra. So partner, what is Boolean Algebra? So according to Merriam Webster, the definition of Boolean Algebra is a system of algebra where there are only two possible values for a variable which is expressed as true and false are in the numerical form 1 and 0. In addition to that, uh, the basic operations are called AND and OR. Following, it is said that Boolean Algebra is a branch of mathematics and can be used to describe the manipulation and processing of binary information. Also, it is it has been proved that it has an important role in the design of modern computing system. Wow, such an amazing and exciting unique topic to learn. Yeah, you're right, partner. As a matter of fact, the guy who made this that topic is famous enough to hear in the streets and inside of the classroom. Oh, I know him, partner. He is a famous English mathematician born in November 2, 1815 in Lincoln, Lincolnshire, England. Yeah, aside from that, he is also the author of three famous books called The Mathematical Analysis of Logic in 1847, The Laws of Thoughts in 1854, and the book entitled An Investigation of Laws of Thought on which are founded the mathematical theories of logic and probabilities. I think, partner, the viewers are already guessed this England mathematician who introduced the Boolean algebra. Yeah, yep, in the count of three, let's say his name. One, two, three. His name is it's George Bolt. You guessed it right. Uh, but let's get back on the main topic. Uh, what is Boolean algebra all about? So to under understand the topic more, here's the set of examples. But first, to prove the set of examples that we will solve later on, let's look at this table. This table contains postulates and theorems of Boolean algebra, where it was divided into two columns. One is addition and the other one is multiplication. But always remember that here in logic, we will not call them addition and multiplication, but rather AND for multiplication and OR for addition. So to understand it more clearly, my partner and I will discuss at least six examples. So for the example one, prove x times x from equal zero. The first step we need to know is what we can add in the process that will not affect the overall equation. In this one, we will multiply one to the term on the left side, which we will have one multiplied to quantity x times x prime will result in zero. Next, we will proceed to the table where we will need to find a postulate or theorem that suits well in the equation. So after analyzing the problem, we can see that postulate 5a is quantity x plus x prime equals 1. So we will convert 1 into x plus x prime since it is equal to each other. Then after that, we will now have quantity x plus x prime times x times x prime equals 0. Multiplying x to uh, quantity x plus x prime, we will have x prime quantity x times x plus x times x prime equals 0. So looking back at the table again, x times x equals x and x times x prime equals 0. This will now become x prime quantity x plus 0 equals 0. By distributing x prime, it will become x prime times x plus x times 0 equals 0. x prime times x equals 0 and 0 plus 0 equals 0 and 0 equals 0 which will only prove that x times x prime equals 0. Wow, what a mind-blowing example do we have here. Yeah, partner, but I bet the listeners still have few questions in how it happened. So, let's proceed to the second example. So, for example number 2, prove that x plus x prime is equal to 1. 
Again, the first thing we need to do is to think first about what we should use which will not affect the overall equation. For this one, we will add 0 on the left term. It will become x plus x prime is equal to 1 plus 0. Looking back at the table of Boolean algebra, x plus 1 is equal to 1 while x times x prime is equal to 0. Converting it, we will have x plus x prime is equal to quantity x plus 1 plus x times x prime. Applying Curing 4 as associative, we can say that x plus 1 plus x times x prime, which can be written as x plus quantity 1 plus x x prime. Following the distributive property, 1 plus x x prime is equal to x plus x prime. We will now have x plus x prime is equal to x plus x plus x prime. As in theorem 1a, x plus x is equal to x, so we can simply write this as x plus x prime. And x plus x prime is equal to x plus x prime, which this only proves that x plus x prime is equal to x plus x prime. Oh, such a detailed explanation coming from my partner. So partner, do you think that our listener is starting to understand the topic? Oh yes, I'm sure partner that they are starting to enjoy this topic. So let us not keep them waiting for more. Let's proceed to another example. So for example number 3, show that x times quantity x prime plus y is equal to x times 1. By applying the distributive property on the left term, we will have x times x prime plus x times y is equal to x times y. Canceling x times x prime as it equates to 0. We will then have 0 plus x times y is equal to x times y. With this, we can see that x times y is equal to x times y, which therefore proves that x times quantity x prime plus y is equal to x times y is true. Another splendid explanation coming from you, partner. As if I believe that you can also explain in that way. Oh, I'm just praising you. Just like how that guy praises you, I remember. Oh, let's not talk about it. <laughs> but as, I, as far as I remember, he... Uh, so, proceeding on the next example. Example number four showed that x, y prime, z quantity x plus z prime is equal to x, y prime, z. Distributing x, y prime, z to quantity x plus z prime, it will become x, x times x, y prime times x, z plus x, z prime times y prime z prime times z z prime is equal to x y prime z. We know that x x is equal to x and z z prime is equal to zero. So the equation will now become x times x y prime times x z plus x z prime times y prime z prime times zero is equal to x y prime z remember that any integers multiplied to zero equates to zero so we will have x times x y prime times x z plus zero is equal to x y prime z canceling x x this will now become x y prime x z is equal to x y prime z again there are two x so cancel we will now have x y prime z is equal to x y prime z and this proves that x y prime z quantity x plus z prime is equal to x y prime z and since i know that our listener is starting to feel bored here's a short commercial Nasi milk tea? Masarap ba to? Sing-sarap ng sa milk tea siya Push mo yan tea, push mo yan tea Nasty milk tea Talaga? Sing-sarap ng sa milk tea siya? Oh, 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 oh Push 
And we are right back. So for the example number five, for the example number five, prove that equation Lg prime plus C times C L C prime L is equal to Lg prime C prime. Distributing the first term on the left side, it will now become quantity L plus C times quantity G prime plus C times quantity C prime L is equal to Lg prime C prime. Multiplying C prime L to this term, this will become quantity LLC prime plus CC prime L times quantity G prime C prime L plus CC prime L. Looking back on the table of Boolean algebra, any variable multiplied by itself is equal to the variable itself. So, LL is equal to L. And CC prime is equal to 0. So, the equation will now become quantity LC prime plus 0 times L times quantity g prime c prime l plus 0 times l cancel cancel it will become lc prime quantity g prime c prime l cancel l and c prime this will become lg prime c prime and lg prime c prime is equal to Lg prime C prime, which proves proves that quantity Lg prime plus C times quantity C prime L is equal to Lg prime C prime is true. And we just finished five examples, partner. You're right, partner. I cannot believe that we are almost in the end of this video. Yeah, and for the last example, which is example number six. So for example number six, now it's your turn. Prove that the equation quantity j prime plus r prime n prime plus j l is equal to j prime l plus r prime n prime. I think our listeners clearly understand what is Boolean algebra. Yep, in fact, I think not only they had learned the topic, but also they enjoyed spending time with us. So, for the conclusion partner. So, in conclusion, if we can compare these equations in the circuit diagram, we can say that there are many buttons. And the diagram itself is difficult since the function only is to on or off a certain component, for example. But then again, Boolean algebra has an important role in the design of modern computing system and it is primarily modern used in computer programming languages. 